All right, video in English. This is a one-off video where I'm going to be talking in English. Uh, I'm going to talk about the fear of programming. I've already talked about this uh, in Arabic as well in another video and at uh, about two conferences and one meeting. So I'm going to repeat it again because I like the topic and I think it relates to life and everything you do in life relates to the problem I'm going to talk about. The fear of programming. Why the fear of programming? Because I'm a programmer and uh, I had a lot of fear before I became any good. Right now I'm, I'm fine. I'm mediocre at best. I'm still trying to reach a stage where I feel like I'm actually aware of how much I don't know anything. I'm still not aware of how much I don't know. I still think I'm good. That's no good. There's still gonna be a stage where you realize that, oh shit, all I know is bullshit. Uh, yeah, but before that, there's several stages. So the first stage is believing that you don't know. To reach that, you have to go through the phase where you think you know. And this is the phase where you're going to be disappointed and you're going to feel bad and you're going to feel that it's too difficult, I don't want to do it anymore. Oh, it's, oh, it's not working. <laughs> this is all, this can lead you to depression or what's worse, it can lead you to believing that the shortcuts you took to make this feeling go away are the correct way of doing things. And then you will become a shortcut taker. You'll start taking shortcuts everywhere. Usually you are a shortcut taker in life and it reflects on how you code. So it's not the programming that makes you a shortcut taker. You are a shortcut taker from the beginning. So this stage where you realize that either this way where I'm going to fake it until I make it or I'm going to do it properly and I admit that I don't know anything. And these people are more knowledgeable than I am. I am still nothing at this task. I still don't know anything. I suck. Welcome to programming. You suck. You're terrible. You are horrible. We all are. That's great. But that's, that's how we start, right? We cannot start thinking we're good. That's no good because we're not. It's impossible that we're good. How can we be good? We haven't been doing it for a long enough time. It's impossible. Where'd you get the goods from? You've been doing it for two months. You haven't even... What about the people who have been doing it ten years? What are they? Are they gods? They're not gods. They're just better than you. And you're worse than them. So you have to compare at this stage before you get your tool, which is the ultimate tool of learning. Before you get your hands on this, the way you learn, the way you become better, you have to compare. So that you can kill your ego. Because every one of us wants to be great at something. So you got people on the street to hang out in the hood and some shit. They're, they're like, they want to be the best at killing people. Or the best at dealing drugs. He's the biggest drug dealer in the world. Or he's the biggest something. Males want to be great. Males just want to be great. You know, everybody wants to be great. Especially men. It's a, you know, down there issue. So, with programming, it's not different. It's the same. We all want to be the best at what we do. And with programming specifically, uh, people tend to give it some sort of, like, uh, some aura of greatness where he's a kid genius. He's coding every night. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. You just put the dot set text to be nothing <laughs> or something. You're doing silly shit at this stage, of course. So, let the talking of the people and the the aura around you to be less uh, great and more real. Just be real about it. Keep it real, man. Keep it real. So you're gonna suck at the beginning, which is great. This is the stage you should be at. And after that, that's when you have to acquire the tool that will help you not suck anymore. But you can't suck if you don't claim to be great, right? So basically, it's still all a thing inside here. If you don't claim to be great or act like you're great or nah, like you're great or nah, nah, like you're great, you will not be put down or be disappointed by how much you suck. You already know you suck, which is great. 
So no one will be like, hey, you're, you're an idiot. Why did you fool us? I wasn't fooling anybody. I told you, I do not know. No one's going to hire you on the basis of you talking like you know what you're talking about. They're going to put you on a test. They're going to find out if you suck or you don't suck. So don't worry about, like, you know, code is going to make the difference. What you say about yourself also helps, of course. But around people, around the people you know, don't get sucked into this issue of uh, he's a great programmer, he's a scientist. You're nothing, okay? Right now. So the more you learn, the more you become more confident of what you're doing. This is a chart of uh, confidence versus skill level. I think I'll link the page below somewhere here, like they say in the YouTube videos, link down below. So I'll link that page. It shows how much you are confident versus how much uh, you are skilled and you pass through. It's mostly all, all spiritual, really. Everything is about how you perceive yourself and your skills versus what you see on the computer screen. Your achievement. So at that stage, it's it's really best to just get to t get into terms with this with this fact that you don't know anything, that you should surround yourself with people who do know something at least more than you, and then you will reach a stage very quickly where you look at someone who just came in and you'll look at him and he looks up at you as if you used to look up at the other guys. So this means you're 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 improving, you're getting on, you're you're becoming better at least better than you were because this this field specifically it's it's not easy nothing is easy but this one specifically it's not easy because it's not uh, it's just code because the machine you're working on is it, this is its nature it's either wrong or right it's either yes or no there's no half right or you're half right or this application half works it doesn't work or it does work so it's very dry, it's very real, it doesn't fuck around, you know? The phone is ringing. So it doesn't fuck around, so you don't get to play with it. And like you feel, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. No, you're bad right now. When you get to a stage where you're fine, you'll know it. But you will never get to a stage, and you should never get to a stage where you feel that you abandoned this tool of admitting that you suck. You must always admit that you suck to yourself. Even people like, I don't know, the people who you consider are great in this uh, field. They do not say that they are great. They did not achieve what they achieved alone. The guy who, write, who wrote Python or the guy who wrote Facebook, he didn't do it alone. None of them did it alone. You cannot do it alone. You will not achieve the status that you're looking for by doing it by yourself. You will not. So it's impossible for them to say that they are great. Because if they did it alone, they would, but no one would do it alone. So no one calls themselves great. No one takes more value on themselves than they deserve. No one. None of the people who have a brain, of course. So you should hang on very tightly to this tool. It's the one that's going to get you where you want to go. Because if you reach a stage where you believe that you know something, you're not going to go out and look for it. You know it. You believe that you know it. Why would you go look for it? Therefore, if you're wrong, you're never going to know that you're wrong. This is a deadly thing, man. You should never fall into this trap. I'm not saying you should like crush your spirit every time. Oh, I suck. You don't suck. It's just don't claim to be great. You wouldn't have to need to call yourself not great. Just don't have any presumption about your skill. You want to do something. You don't need to rate yourself at every stage. Like, how am I doing now? Who cares? You want a task, you have to do something with the programming, with the code, do that thing. If you do that thing, you're successful. Great. How you did it doesn't matter. How it's done, that's up to you to improve. But did you do the thing you wanted to do? That's great. That's all you need to be worrying about. Not how do I compare myself with these people. You wouldn't have to compare if you are humble and you are real about what you know and what you don't know. You just need to get it, uh, to come to terms with what you do know and what you don't know. So this has helped me a lot. Right now, like, I still meet many people, meet many people. Every person I meet knows more than I know. Every person. <laughs> but 
at least I'm not getting put down or discouraged because I'm not putting myself up here and then getting smashed down. I don't put myself anywhere. I know what I know. I do what I want, you know. So stop comparing in that sense. Compare in the sense where you can benefit from the comparison. Like, how, what does he have that I don't have? Hmm. Not, how did he get like that? I'm never going to be like that. He had his opportunities in life. He, he's, been, he's a 10x programmer. He's a legendary. He ain't shit. He just spent more hours than you did. What you got to do is just spend more hours doing it. That's the only way. There's no button or something you can press. It's impossible. You just got to do it until it works. That's all you got to do. Hope you've enjoyed this one. It's a little brief and it's a little uh, something. But I, I feel like I got uh, the, the gist of the issue more than any other talk. This is the talk that I've, want, I've been meaning to give. This is the issue to talk about. What's in here and in here. Not what the code is doing. Because the code is not alive. You're alive. So it's up to your mentality towards the code to make the difference. Not the code's mentality towards you. The code doesn't want to hurt you. Or doesn't want to not work on purpose just to spite you. The code does not have any feelings towards you. You're the only one with the feelings. So get those straight. Everything will work. I promise. See you next time. Gotta press the button. Where's the, I gotta take my eyes off.